Now we're going to show you this mother hen with gathering her little chicks. I just love this little quilt and it's really pretty easy. The trickiest part are these wings and we'll show you those wings. Okay, now we make all of our little pieces and we copy our pattern and put our paper pattern on top of two pieces of fabric that are right sides together. Thin polyester bonded batting. Then we're going to sew on the solid line. You can set the stitch length a little shorter. Back stitch if you want and cut on the outside. Dash line. Take your paper out. Turn it right side out. Now on these little feathers I'm going to put a little more stuffing in the scallops. Now some of the pieces were sewn all the way around and we just slit the back and turn it through an opening. Here is comb is gathered and whip stitched on the back and his uh, beak was folded like a prairie point and his little gobbler is just stitched on the back. Now the trick is our her wings and we're gonna foundation piece most of it just these three pieces one two three now comes the little dimensional pieces and they're numbered of course where they line up on the lines and I machine basted each one of these lines and around the outside of the wing to transfer the location here. Now I'm going to start with the first little feather set. I'll put a little extra batting in each of the scallops and then I'm going to line the raw edges just above that basting and so that the sides are also past the side bastings. And then I'll machine sew up the center of the scallop. And we've got that. Then the next piece is put down and I'll machine sew up this scallop, making sure that my outside raw edges are also past that outside basting. And I want the feathers to, to uh, cover each other like that and then I'll just do that all the way up machine sewing in between and then this end machine sew all the way to the to the edge up here then once that's done I'll stack it with backing fabric and batting and then I'm going to sew all the way around the outside solid line then I'll take the paper out and I'm going to slit the, the fabric that's behind this batting here. I don't want to slit this front part where I've put all this work into my dimensional feathers, but we'll turn it through a slit through just cutting this back piece. Okay, and turning the tail feathers, we've got this skinny opening. We've got to get all that fabric turned right side out. So here's a little trick for turning through that narrow opening. If you have a straw or a, a, some kind of strong uh, tube, insert that tube all the way to the end of your uh, part. Put a pencil in the end of that tubing and it'll turn as you push the pencil or the dowel through, it will turn the fabric inside on itself and then it's really easy to turn that through using that method. Okay, putting the quilt together is pretty simple. It's just a background uh, fabric with your border and then I machine quilted the whole thing. Then all of my little pieces have been made here. The little chickies, they've just been sewn all the way around with your fabric stacked in your pattern. You just slit one layer and turn it through that layer. Now the beak is just a, a square folded diagonal and then fold it like that. And then you just put it on the back, whip stitch it, little button for the eyes. Now on the little chicky feet, I'll just mark it and I will outline stitch that with embroidery floss and then I'll blind stitch it on. Now when I blind stitch it on, I don't blind stitch it right on the edge. I'm going to pull it in and just pretty much just running stitch in about a quarter of an inch around so that I keep that great dimension. Okay, then the mother hen, pretty simple. She's just got her body, her wings. You notice how they're all turned. I had to slit through this. Now 
uh, be careful when you slit that you're not slitting through this piece front okay and then I'm going to do the same thing as far as blind stitch these in not right on the edge then the little tail feathers pretty simple I've added a little stuffing in the uh, ends of those those are just cute and they can go beyond your uh, border which looks way way cool and then we're going to tuck chickies into her little wings and um, like that she still looks a little funny without her head there's her head and we're going to tuck her head on she's very very dimensional but she just turns out darling I hope this video has helped you